attention, all Westwood students. Santa Claus is in great danger, and he needs your help. He's stuck in the chimney, and he can't get out, which means... Hey, uh... We, uh, we just got word that, uh, Creepy Crawler is on the loose. I'm just gonna evacuate now, so... Hi Warriors, I'm Chris. And I'm Jennifer. And welcome, and welcome to, to WNN. WNN. Hey, I heard you were in the talent show. I, I did go see it. And there was a lot of amazing talent. There was a lot of amazing talents. Let's go check it out. I stand alone, off to the side, in a place you choose not to see me. I just want you all to myself. So I heard one of our fellow students wanted to go to downtown Mesa. Yeah, me too. We should go check that out. Yeah, we Let's should. If you want to do anything this holiday season, you should check out these cool places. Santa was in our school. Really? I, I did see him around. Really? Yeah. One of my friends has a class with him. I'm on a naughty list. Um, yeah. <laughs> let's check that out. Some people, you know, I kind of keep that a secret a little bit, but just let me just say it this way. I'm making a list and I'm checking it twice. Um, what, what are you going to do for Christmas? Well, you know, you always got that work to do around Christmas time. I've got all those boys and girls all over the world to deliver presents to. Going to be pretty busy with that. Outside of that, I'm going to go to Texas and visit my family down there, my son and his wife and my little grandkids, and I'm going to be Santa Claus to them. What do you want for Christmas? Well, that was always a tough question for me because what do you give the man who's got everything? Well, the best thing I could hope for for Christmas, I hope my students are all safe. I hope they have a blessed Christmas day. And during that time, I hope they be thinking about, at least a little bit, about getting work done and getting their uh, education finished and moving up in this world. Um, are you Santa? 
Well, again, I mean, we've sort of answered that question already. Do I really have to come out? Okay, I will. Yes, I, I'm Santa Claus. I'm the old Miss Aiden Nick. I'm the guy that delivered. Yeah, uh, okay, I'll try to hold that back a little bit. <laughs> All right, thank you. You're welcome. So we got some special announcements for you guys, so take a listen. Congratulations to Priscilla Romero Congrats. being selected the Mesa Sunrise yeah. Rotary December Student Good of the job. Month. Priscilla will be one of the finalists for the Rotary $500 scholarship presented in May. Congratulations, Priscilla Romero. A reminder to students from attendance. If you have more than nine absences in a class, you can submit an attendance appeal form. Today is the last day to turn this form into the office. Today is your last chance to purchase fire and ice winter formal tickets. 20 bucks with the activity card and 25 bucks without. There will be no ticket sales at the door. All debts must be paid. Don't miss fire and ice winter formal tomorrow night. Do you have a great idea for Westwood? Can you offer some new ideas and feedback on past and future events on campus? Are you interested in learning more about what student council does for Westwood? <laughs> Let your voice be heard at Westwood Town Hall, December 13th in the mini auditorium from 3 to 4 p.m. We want to hear from you. Come to Town Hall next Thursday and be a bigger part of Westwood. Westwood Robotics is doing a fundraiser Friday, December 7th from 4 to 8 p.m. at Tempe Market's Place Panera Bay. Make sure to say you're there for Westwood Robotics. On Monday, January 14th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the big gym, stop by and pick up your registration package. Parents are encouraged to attend. We'll be offering informational seasons on all our amazing CTA programs, such as Westwood Athletics, AP classes, dual enrollment, or hoop of learning. We'll be hosting a clubs and athletics fair. This is a great time for students to get information about all the clubs available at Westwood. Athletes, you'll be able to meet with coaches and talk about camps and tryouts. At 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in Big Gym. Hey, do you have any holiday plans? I'm gonna go see some family up in Jerome. What about you? Well, I'm gonna stay home and chill with my family and be together, you know? That's nice. Yeah. I wonder what everyone else is doing. I'm here with... Ray. And what do you want for Christmas? I don't know, never get anything, so what's the point on expecting something for Christmas? And what do you what are you gonna do for Christmas? Well, uh, house. Let's go. Okay, I'm here with Cynthia Brown. And what do you want for Christmas? I want some chips. And what are you gonna do for Christmas? Mm, probably just make Christmas cookies for my little sis. That's nice. Thank you. I'm here with Brian and what do you want for Christmas? Okay, what are you doing for the holidays? Hanging with my family. Hey. With my girlfriend. That I'm supposed to have. Yikes! Uh, but you can't cuff. <laughs> I'm here with Axel, and what do you want for Christmas? Uh, not, nothing much really. Just some clothes. And what are you doing for the holidays? Uh, hopefully spend some time with my family, or maybe go out with friends. That's good. That's good. Before we bring in the lunch specials, um, Josie Max's fundraiser ends today, so be, make sure to stop by before December 8th, because today is when it ends. But now let's get to the lunch specials. Welcome back to Breaking Warrior News. Chef Lopez has gone crazy over what we heard is just a piece of paper. Here we have Officer O'Neill at the scene, and I'm the cover cop who took up this assignment. See what's happening. Officer O'Neill? Um, Officer O'Neill? Officer O'Neill, what's happening? Chef Lopez, he's crazy. He's a madman. Supposedly in this building right here, I have men inside looking for him. He's behind you! Is he? Look! He's right there! You don't fool! Put your hands behind your back. Yo, I ain't do nothing. Yeah, put your hands behind your back. Man, I missed it! Yeah, and I'm Batman! They found the paper? Chief, we got the paper. Are you sure? You don't fool! All right, what does it say? It says Monday, lasagna roll-ups, Tuesday, beef taco, Wednesday, popcorn chicken bowl, Thursday, teriyaki chicken, and Friday, oven baked chicken with waffles and fries. That's it. Are you kidding me? We called the SWAT out for this? You know how much money this is gonna cost us? I've been noticing it's been getting really, really cold it every morning. It has been really getting cold. Yeah, and 
I see a lot of people with blankets. I mean, you gotta cover up, you know? Yeah, it reminds me of freshman year, you know? Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check the weather. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the weather news. I'm your host, the Red Hand Man. Why? That's another time. Anyways, as you can see, it's a Christmas tree. The people are gonna be all jolly holy. They're gonna wear their Santa hats. Me? It's in the washing machine. Anyways, back to topic. On Monday, it's gonna be a 72 degrees. Uh, not sure that's accurate, but oh well. On uh, Tuesday, it's gonna be a 71. Still not accurate. On Wednesday, it's gonna be uh, 64 degrees. Thursday, uh, 69. And then uh, Friday, it's gonna be a 76. 76? Max! Who gave me these reports? Jim? Oh well. Back to you. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris. And I'm Jennifer. And remember, and remember fear, fear the spear. spear.